Flashcards are a very important learning tool for early years. They help the children learn as well as recap and revisit at regular intervals. You must give them flashcards whenever you can. So we have flashcards in every book. So what you can do is you can tear them from the perforation. You can take these strips that come from above and below and tear them up and bundle them up and uh, use them for counting or number work activities. You can take these flashcards and you can bundle them and keep them neatly. Even this one, 4 millimeter strip at the, on the side can be very, very effectively used. If you can tear it, keep it and ask the children to paste it either you know in a vertical in vertical lines or in horizontal lines also to help them to get a sense of direction this can be done for the little um, uh, for the beginners and for the level one they can actually create letter shapes which can be done with uh, just the lines and the level two can just use this for other activities they can just try and create a little uh, scene or uh, something else that they want to and they can so this can be a level beginners and level one can be using this little paper strip also it it uh, optimizes the use of paper till the last bit now we are getting ready for the flashcards for level one i have done the video shoot together so that the parents or the teachers who see who have children at one level must be able to see the activities that are done previously and what they are preparing for them later. So uh, that is why we are shooting it together and sharing it with you. So level 1 has a little change in the flashcards. It has the small case letter on one side and the upper and lower case letter and a picture on the other side. You can easily start with a picture and upper case and lower case letter together because that is the connection with the previous uh, year, the beginners and then gradually we keep to the small case because here the children are going to start word building by the middle of the year. So that is the reason why we have kept it like this. It also has a set of cards which has got the three letter CVC words and these words would rhyme. So if you have a den, the child will have to look for a hen. If there is a bat, the child will have to look for a cat or a mat. So rhyming words as well as identifying the first sound and then after identifying the rhyming words, they can build the CVC words. So multiple activities that can be aided by the flashcards. Here in level 1, what we have done is we begin with the picture dictionary. So it is a picture dictionary that has the letters of the alphabet in order and then it has got related pictures. So these pages can be used by the children to actually identify and place. You can play a game with them saying that I am going to name a picture. You have to identify the related letter. So for example, if you say cat, the child has to look for the card with C and place it over here. This is the time when the letter names go down, the usage of the letter names goes down and the, the sounds are used more often. Like I uh, said, even for the beginners, try and not use the name and the sound together. Always use one. So the picture dictionary can be used for simple identification. And then this whole spread can be used. You can start with three or four letters and then use a whole spread to play a little identification game. You can roll a die, ask the child to identify and place the card. So this is how they can begin with. There is another page which starts with the order of the alphabet. So encourage them to move their finger, identify the card and arrange it from A to Z. So once the child starts playing on the page, the same thing they can use on the flashcards. And after they arrange it and they get used to this movement, Encourage them to place them in rows of 5 or 6 so that the children have it in a compact space to manipulate and do the other activities. 
So once they arrange it, encourage them to go slowly. There is no rush. Also, there will be children who would love to write while doing this. So please give them a slate, give them a piece of paper. And there may be some children who are just really happy with just the identification. Um, I think you have to give them time. Also, the pages of the book, each page has a rainbow writing. So the children can keep the finger tracing going. So once this is done, so automatically the children are getting ready for it. They can start the tracing, the coloring, uh, the readiness. Each child would be ready at a different time. So, um, and when they are ready, they will write. So please don't worry about that. Look at the identification that works so much better. So the cards are arranged gradually. They can just flip it over. Once they flip it over, they just see the small case letters. They are not seeing the uppercase anymore. Now we are getting them ready to build words. Towards the end of the book, the children are learning only the small case letters. So when they start learning the small case letters, you can actually ask them to flip over the cards and see the small case letters. They can identify the vowels and separate them. They can use the combination of a vowel with a consonant and create the learning chunks, the ab or ag, an, am. So they can just place the cards and you can keep asking them to build chunks. Once this is done, we can start encouraging them to build the CVC words. You can teach them how to blend and segment and teach them how to open their fingers with each sound. Like if you are saying bat, the child must learn how to orally segment b, a, t. So he knows it is three letters, the b, a, t. The order that is placed in front of the child will enable the child to identify and pick up the letters really fast. If you feel that the children are ready, then you can actually arrange them in any random order or in the phonic order which we will be showing you just after this. Let's introduce the phonic sounds to the children in order. It's easier for the children to follow an order and we would like you to help the children concentrate on the lip movements. When children learn how to speak, they are actually watching the lip movements of the adults and all the other people around them. So that is why if you can just help them to associate a symbol with a sound and teach them the lip movements, it will help them to understand and learn the sound and associate it with a symbol. So when they, nothing between the sound and the symbol, sound, symbol. So let's begin. A, B, K, Cat, D, Dog, E, Elephant, G, E, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Pen, Pen, K, R, S, Table, mat, a, uh, van, w, wolf, x, identified as the last sound, box, fox, mix, fix. It's an exception to the rule of the first sound. X is always the phonic sound is the last sound in a word. Y, Z. 
So these are the phonic sounds in order. You can practice them with the flashcards. And sometimes before you build words with flashcards, you must teach them auditory recognition of the sounds, the sounds in the words, segmenting and blending. Segmenting is a simple activity where the child listens to a word and tries to identify the sounds in the word. You start with the first sound and then say, okay, now I'm going to say the word slowly. Can you close your left hand and open as you hear the sound? So suppose I say the word bat. So what do we hear in bat? B, a, t, bat. If I say the word bat, the child should be able to b, a, t, segmenting. Once the child can do this, the child can identify the cards and place them on the side and actually put the finger, blend it and read it. Bat. They can place the cards back and then build the next word. Initially start with one word at a time, take it to two, three and as the children are ready, take it to more words.